Our next question comes from Matthew Trujillo Acosta, who writes, Hey, Alan, I was wondering what your thoughts are on Constantine now that we're a few more episodes in. Uh, as some of you know who read the review, I had only seen the first episode of Constantine before it debuted. In fact, I'd seen three different versions. I saw the original version with the original lead actress. I saw a new version of Comic-Con that still had the lead actress but had a new couple of new scenes at the end, one of which explained why the lead actress wasn't going to be on the show anymore. And then I saw the final version, which was the Comic-Con version, plus an extra scene with the new female lead. Uh, now I've seen three additional episodes, and I'm feeling better about the show than I did after the pilot. I thought the pilot was okay, but it definitely seemed like kind of a sanitized take on John Constantine. And particularly, I don't think it dealt very well with the idea that while Constantine means well and does good things, he's ultimately a really bad guy to be around, especially if you're his friend. And bad things tend to happen to the people who care about John Constantine. And the most recent episode that aired last week, number four, uh, with the Hunger Demon, was all about that ultimately. And that, that concluding sequence where you find out that Constantine is setting up his friend to sacrifice himself, and not only sacrifice himself, but to do it in this horrible, disgusting, lingering, painful way that was really effective, and the fact that they didn't, like, flinch from that at all, and that the episode ends not on some sort of miraculous last-second, you know, loophole that gets the friend out of it. No, it's Constantine comforting his friend as his friend endures this terrible, terrible death that he has volunteered for because of his buddy John Constantine. So if the show can keep going in that direction, it, it seems a lot more promising than it did originally. We'll see what they do in terms of arcing. We'll see what they do when they start bringing in Dr. Fate and other sort of DC supernatural characters. But it's it's gotten better. I don't know that I love the new female lead. I don't know that Zed is any more interesting than the first one. But, you know, she seems to fulfill the same function in terms of someone who is relatively new to the supernatural world, whom Constantine can explain things to and therefore to the audience. So she's basically like any companion from Doctor Who. But, again, the last couple of episodes have been pretty good, and the last one in particular was fairly strong. And so this is around the point at which I start shaving off shows I don't care about at all. And I think that last episode definitely bought the show uh, quite a bit more rope for me, so I'm going to be sticking with it a while longer. For the latest with HitFix, visit HitFix.com or download the new HitFix app on your Roku device.